Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I want to do something a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and try a game that I haven't played ever before. It's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, this game looks pretty good. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I've actually never played any Assassin's Creed games. I know, go ahead and tag me in the comments, but I haven't. So the thing I'm going to do is um, play, this game, play this game in like a Let's Play series and do that within like 30 minute intervals, 30 minute episodes or whatever you want to call them. And we'll just see how that goes. I kind of want to do like an entire playthrough of the uh, the main game. And if I end up liking it a lot, then maybe I'll get the DLC as well. And who knows from there, maybe even go to uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla from there. And, and yeah, maybe go back to the other ones as well. I don't know yet. But right now, we're going to do um, this one, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and see how I like it. So without further ado, we'll jump into episode number one. I have to say, the graphics look amazing. We are ready, my king. Leonidas. Leonidas. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Let us meet our fate, shall we? Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it, has led to where you stand, right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say, say you, Spartans? Say it. For our sons! This is Sparta! For our say it. Daughters, <laughs> for Sparta! Aw, I kind of wanted to watch that. Okay. Well, all right then, I suppose. No idea if I'm doing this right, I'm just mashing buttons here. It's 
pretty cool combat system. It's time to get specific ones, apparently. You got a wreck, man. Alright. That works too, I suppose. Break the guard. You will fail. Xerxes is the king of kings. Okay, I got you. Bow before him after I crush you. Come, fool. Enough talk. Time to die. My son is more of a warrior than you. Once I'm done with you, king, all of Sparta's sons will be slaves for Xerxes. Sparta's sons would rather die. <laughs> that can be arranged. No match for a Spartan! I'm trying to commentate as I go, but it's just... I'm really into, uh... What's going on here? It's pretty cool. The game looks great. We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Ooh. Gruesome. Today <laughs> was a day the Persians will never forget. <laughs> Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. So this is like in present times or it's gotta be about what okay. they're wearing. Let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust where this they are. thing? I mean, the book could be just started, of Victoria. Yeah, definitely in the future. <laughs> You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Animus. Okay, so worth noting, Sim? I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. Uh, I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization. It's like a simulator to make you go back into that time period. Use difficulty. I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, that's what this is. Let's, Let's do normal. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. 
If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Uh, more traditional experience markers are displayed at all times and quest objectives are given to you automatically. A newer approach to playstyle. The user must investigate the world to uncover targets and quest objectives. This is the way Assassin's Creed Odyssey is meant to be experienced. Um, I mean, hey, that's how it's meant to be. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Hmm. Yeah. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of the Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything? But we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. It's not what I was expecting at all. Thought we were just gonna be straight in that time period. I didn't know there was gonna be like a whole simulation thing where you're really modern day. You simulate yourself into the world. That's not even close to what I expected. This looks really good. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. <laughs> <laughs> Malaka. The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. <laughs> You have a lesson to learn. The Cyclops wants to teach you. Tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops. That was simple. Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah, 
Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. Uh, I'll be nice. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <clears throat> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Just as you make will impact both seen and unseen. Consider your options carefully as some affect the story and are permanent. Assuming I'm going to choose whether I kill them or... Hmm, do I want to be ruthless? Or do I want to be a good guy who only uses violence when absolutely necessary? Eh. Yeah, you're dead. You made <laughs> what am I thinking? Yeah, get out of here. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. How do you get up top? I'm not going to get caught without armor twice today. Oh, there's the steps. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. What's happening right now? It's up there? How do you get up there? How do you climb? <laughs> ah, there we go. Let's get this on. Requires level five crap. Good assassins, uh, old assassins, good armor. <laughs> Put that on. Let's do 26 off. So can I not use a shield? I guess not. It's okay. Not a big deal. I gotta get all these off my screen. It's gonna bother me. The exclamation marks. All right. 
Open the map to find the objective. Is on the southern part of Mount Anus. <laughs> Mount Anus. <laughs> uh, we'll just go like right there, I guess. I don't know. looks pretty cool actually. Am I going in the right way? No. This game looks so good. Yes, this is the, the heck, man. Straight ahead. Ah, oh, cool. So this is how you view... Okay. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. So... No worries that. Telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe I found you, you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? You don't know how to make wine. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. No, you then just bought a vineyard. Get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. 
Ivoris. How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Voris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine. But I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Uh, I mean, they all look. Wait, I mean, other than the middle one, the other, the two on the ends look the same. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? Literally, just chose that one on the right. Uh, a, a fine choice, but this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. All right, quest completed. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it right here for, for the this episode, and uh, I'll come back again with another one. Or try to keep these around 30 minutes or so. So we're just about at that at that point. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.